so one thing I wanted to we wanted to show you and and David is going to demo uh, now is uh, the work we've done in Moodle LMS in the processor page in in LMS that we turn that into a system report. This was an integration review in the last spring that had been finalized this spring and uh, and just to give you some context we, in workplace we have a system report in the and uh, in the user list but we had to keep this legacy uh page in lms because not all the actions were available there so right now in workplace we have the legacy page and our own page which is a bit messy so when we had the opportunity to work on this in lms it was a, it was great because it will enable us to replace our page and to get all together into the um into the legacy page sorry sorry david uh so David will show how this works and what we are planning to do is in, in for 4.4, if we can, we will add bulk actions. We want to evaluate the possibility to add bulk actions to this page in LMS, but that's something that we need to uh, uh, plan for this increment. So uh, now, David, over to you. Hello, I'm David, I'm a team lead, the workplace team. Let me share my screen. So um, this is the previous report, the one we had until now. It is the gross list of users. And it had these filters here on top, all of them hidden that you had to use. It had support for the middle name, alternate name, also for identity fields. And the actions were here on these icons. But the confirm and resend email, for example, were these text strings here. And the add new user was at the bottom. And we converted this one using the report builder API. So now it looks like this. Right now it has support for the same fields, same columns. Uh, now the suspended users have this batch let's say suspended in gray, and it has the team row. And the confirmation pending users, it's easy to spot them right now because it had, they have this red patch here. And all the actions are under the action uh, cock. So you have edit, you have suspend. In case for the confirmation pending, you also have the confirm account, recent confirmation email, Everything is together now. Uh, it's easier to see which users are suspended or the confirmation is pending. Filters, we have the same exact filters here, all of them available in this scroll, even for the identity fields. And the add new user button now is on top, so it's easier to use. And of course, we have pagination and everything that Report Builder give us. So the next step, as Emilio was saying, is uh, adding bulk actions. That Marina is already working on this one. And this is the report that we're using right now in Workplace, because the previous one, uh, we couldn't use it. So this one has the tenant columns and the bulk actions that we need. So we're going to try to convert this new one with the bulk actions and add our tenancy restrictions and columns. And that's all from me. Thank you.